Hi, I'm John Williams. I'm, I'm here today with Nadine Horn. Hello, Nadine. Hello, John. This is the first of our series of videos for a 30-day challenge called Challenge TV. And we're going to be doing a series of interviews with interesting people who've started something amazing, perhaps a business or a project or, or a book, um, and pick up what they've learned about making things happen, about finding ideas, about getting over obstacles, so that... Uh, we can send one, one of these out every week on the 30 day challenge itself and all the participants can watch it and get inspired and learn something about how you make stuff happen. So this is a bit of a special one because you've actually done the 30 day challenge Nadine. Like, I have. Uh, when was it? A couple of years ago, right? I think it was two years ago, yeah. And when you went in, you because you, you you've done amazing things, but when you went into the challenge you actually didn't have an idea, you didn't know what you were going to do, did you? No, I was stuck. Yeah. And, uh, and you came up with this idea to, well, tell me what it was. Uh, to create an adventure and get paid for it. But it's like, the, the, the challenge is like, how do you become an adventurer? There's no career path for that, is there? No one says, there's no tick box when you're at school on how to become an adventurer. So you thought, well, I'll just go and create an adventure and go do it, which was Mission Spain. So do you want to tell us what you did? Yes. Yeah, so... I had really no idea where to start off with and uh, I realised before it maybe an adventure for me is like learning something new, exploring a new country yeah. and uh, having a physical challenge. So I thought I'm going to pick anything, so I picked Spain, never been yeah. to Spain. Uh, I picked learning Spanish because I couldn't speak a word Spanish and I have never most probably cycled more than 80 kilometers. No, really. And this was 4,000 <laughs> kilometers. So I just, the Google map, and I just draw like a circle without a plan. It's like, okay, yeah. I'm going to cycle around. I'm going to learn fluent Spanish on the way. And by the 30th day of a 30-day challenge, you come up with this idea. I mean, you made it happen, right? I did. 20, I think day 29, day 28. Yeah. Uh, I had the sponsorship for a bike. I had yeah. a sponsorship for a two weeks language course. Yeah. I someone paid my cab to go to the airport. <laughs> so on the on the thirtieth day was it or twentieth day you were on a train basically? On the and uh, actually thirty first day, so yeah. just two, three days after but right. everything was set in stone. I had a blog, I never had a blog before. I had all the equipment ready, I was ready. Wow. And someone was uh, someone paid for your bike, paid for your language course and you did it, you cycled Yes. The whole 4,000 kilometers? Two months and 4,000 kilometers. <laughs> and fluent Spanish. I was starting writing the blog just in English. Yeah. First, but I also said, after the language course, I'm not going to speak English. Right. Just really to make wow, the mission yeah. of. And after a couple of weeks, I started to write in English and Spanish. And then I completely wrote my blog post in Spanish. Wow. That's impressive. So, so what was it? You, I mean, you credit, it's, it's amazing stuff and all credit to you, but you said that the challenge really seemed to be the key that unlocked all this for you. What was it that happened in the 30 day challenge that made such a difference? I think it was the belief from the outside that you can do it. Yeah. But also having a community rather than getting paralyzed when you get stuck on yeah. this one thing. And because you just have 30 days and you want to produce something. Mm. Um, you actually ask the people in the community yeah. because they have created something and you know what you have created in the book and different people at this point you know it's possible yeah so you blur it out and in the evening I would lock in I had an answer to my problem yeah. then off you go again so um, and, and you came back and did another challenge uh, in order to do a different project yes. so and that's this book do it. Tell us the name of the book. It's called Don't Just Talk, Do It and Make Your Crazy Idea Happen. Said in your best German accent, which should explain your German <laughs> Did I do it in my German accent? German English. German don't English. just do it. Don't just talk, yeah. do it. Don't just talk, do it. And make your crazy idea happen. Yeah. And you wrote that and published it in 30 days yes, I did. on the 30 day challenge. Because when I got the oh, you've got cartoons. Yes. So a friend <laughs> of mine, you know, because it's. It shows from where I started having no idea yeah, at all right. to really doing it. So it's, it's nicely laid out as well, yeah, actually. Seven right. steps of how it worked. Might well be. So, um, so, it, so that's amazing. So you got that as well. But how, so how did you make time? Because you said you were using, we, we teach this thing called microblocking on a 30 day challenge, mm. but how to make use of really small blocks of time. Yeah. And you, you did, you use that trick for writing the book. Didn't you? 
So I said, I want to have fun while I do it. So every morning I would mm. go in a pub or like in a cafe where it was a nice environment. Yeah. And then 20 minutes, just put 20 minutes down. What am I going to produce in the next 20 minutes? Yeah. And then, okay, 20 minutes, I'm just going to blur. Okay. Mm. And then I could let go and go yeah. off the day. But then you get ideas. It's like, oh, I'm going to do another 20 minutes. I'm going to do yeah. this. I was amazed. I never thought about can I write a book. I think it's brilliant. And did you put this? Uh, is this on Amazon or is this from your own site? Uh, so it's self-published on Lulu at the. Okay. I'm gonna relaunch it, but you can get it from my site. So if I get a, uh, people watching want to get this, you can get it in the deanhorn.com. Exactly, in the deanhorn.com. H O R N. Exactly. And um, and check out the book. So Nadine, it's been great finding out everything you've got out of the 30 day challenge, everything you've done since. But what would you say to someone who's considering doing it right now? Do it. It changed my life and it still does. It's just reminding and knowing if I could do that, I can do the other thing. So you're stepping up levels. Yeah. But it's a reminder, if I can do that, I can do that. You're getting more confident. Yeah, yeah that's fantastic. Thank you.